Hey, what's going on guys? So these are my results for November so far. Uh, total spend is just under 28k, um, which has returned sales-wise just over 110k in sales. So I've already found my product, my brand that I'm running for Q4, but if this all went apart and I had to start again, then these would be the five products slash niches that I would choose without picking a product from the pet niche. The pet niche is probably number one, close top spot or contender um, versus children's toys, of course. So this is going to be my top five niches and products without mentioning a single pet one. Number one has to be the electric heated vest. I'm talking from a UK slash US slash Canada kind of perspective. We're in winter now in full force. It's just 100% a fact that more and more people are looking for heated clothing. In fact, let's just get rid of vest heated clothing. Um, as you can see, we're not even at its peak yet. So with these products and these niche ideas, you don't need to necessarily take like and copy and paste the exact product I'm going to find you, take the idea, take the concept, and then go and find something that's unique that people won't have seen before. <clears throat> so when it comes to heated clothing, it doesn't have to be this vest. It could be a long-sleeved coat. It could be socks. It could be slippers. It could be gloves. There's It could be trousers. There's endless, endless heated um, pieces of clothing out there. Then when you've selected the one that you want to sell, go and find your perfect target audience. Are you going to sell heated clothing aimed towards people who go camping in winter or people who play golf in winter? Or is it going to be for people who walk dogs? Go and find your unique USP, your special reason why somebody would buy it from you and not somebody else. And what's going to make you stand out from all of the other people, all of your other competition, all of the other dropshippers. That is the most important thing to take away from this video. Yes, I'm going to give you some product ideas and niches. But if you're going to be successful at dropshipping, you have to do things in a unique way. Niche slash product number two is massages. Again, in fact, let's start with this just to prove to you massages are such a popular search term, such a popular niche this time of year. They've got to be one of the number one gifts that people give at Christmas. It's perfect, perfect, perfect for platforms like Facebook, even TikTok. Actually, the demographic on TikTok is aging. Now, my mother-in-law uses TikTok. There's a lot of people sort of 50, 60 years old jumping across to TikTok um, that I know use it. So whether it's Facebook, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Google, then all of these products are going to apply. The reason why they apply so well is because, especially with massages, the profit margins are really good. They're typically more expensive products too, which typically an older generation can afford. Um, to combat that, you can have split payment systems like Clan or Afterpay installed onto your site as well. Just make sure you have the correct logos so people can see that on the product page. It's no good having it at the end of the checkout because people won't see it there. This is why I always recommend having your dynamic checkout buttons enabled too so people can see that you offer PayPal and they know they can shop safely the second they land on your page. So massages, again, it's endless different massages out there for your feet, for your calves, for your thighs, for your, I think I saw a massager for your wrist um, the other day on AliExpress forearms. So pick the product and make sure you have a specific kind of customer profile that you're going for. Another common kind of like um, reason why I see these businesses fail is because they're trying to sell a product to absolutely everybody. So their message is too broad, so broad that it lands on no one. If you try and speak to everyone, you won't be speaking to anyone. Whereas if you have a really clear and specific message, people are much more likely to hear it when it resonates with them. So be super, super specific with who you're trying to sell your product to. So massages, definitely, definitely, definitely a super, super popular product. Um, number three is going to be garden vine LED string lights. It says garden, but I would actually sell these indoors. If I show you fairy lights, um, it's pretty self-explanatory and obvious. It's a time where people decorate their houses for Christmas. But these sorts of like decorative, not necessarily Christmas related, but these decorative products that people will put up in their bedrooms or in their living rooms. Um, there's a really common, really common or super popular dropshipper called Twinkling Tree that made fortunes. I would be surprised if it was in a deck of millions selling products like this. So if you haven't heard of them before, go and Google a dropshipping company called Twinkling Tree. They made vast amounts of money selling products like this. We are coming into winter. It's the time of year where people like to decorate their houses with lights because it's dark for longer durations through the day. Go on TikTok. There's endless content as well of people showing their bedrooms before and after with these types of lights. You can get these kind of foliage ones that you can see here, foliage ones, but you can get ones that I saw, um, which I really like the look of, which were instead of leaves, it's like different color roses. Really, really nice effect. When it comes to advertising products like this too, lights are very visually pleasing. People naturally want to watch videos that have lights because it's visually pleasing. So hands down, a a great product for, for social media marketing. 
Next product I want to show you is this one here. I know it's been done before, but I'm one of these people that, so this, for example, 15th of September this year, 2.8 million likes and comments are still happening on a daily basis. This is not a saturated product. I, I really don't believe in saturation like most people do. Yes, you can be selling the same product, but if you advertise it and market it in a way that's better than everybody else, you're going to win. You will win. And this is a brilliant, brilliant ad creative. I can't play the sound, but it's basically this baby making silly noises. The cactus records it and plays it back. It shocks the baby, as you can see there. And then it makes another silly noise. And naturally, people want to watch things like this, regardless of there being a product in there. People will be sharing this and, pay and tagging their friends purely because it's a nice video to watch. And let me see if I can find the numbers. Let me, I'm going to pause this video and see if I can find the numbers. I was hoping to see how many people have bookmarked this and shared it, but I couldn't find it. But needless to say, it's been getting consistent engagements over the last, well, since September 15th. It's a nice video to watch. 100% it's a product that people will buy. It's in that perfect kind of impulse buy range as well at 20, 30 pounds. People won't think twice about spending that to get this sort of reaction from a baby and a child. And again, coming up to Christmas, Christmas is for children. It's where grandkids... This way, grandparents, sorry, and parents go crazy and spend lots of money on their kids. Trying to get this reaction out of your child is worth every single penny. So brilliant, brilliant product. Funny toys as well, searching. It's not a great search term. It's pointless, isn't it, putting toys in? Everybody knows coming into Q4, super, super popular and spikes massively in demand. The key takeaway from this one is the way you advertise a product. <clears throat> if you're trying to recycle the same content as everybody else, you're really, really gonna to struggle to win. The reason why this is done so well is because it's a unique video that people will not have seen before. If this video had been used by dozens, if not hundreds of dropshippers, and people had seen this video before, it wouldn't get the same level of viewership. Think about it. When you're scrolling through your newsfeed on Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, if you've seen, if you come across a piece of content that you've seen four or five times before, you're probably not gonna send it to your friend again. You're probably not gonna like it again. You're probably not gonna click it again. It's the same with your content for your ads. It has to be unique. You want the first time somebody sees your product to be an original creative that they've never seen before. You're much more likely to watch something that you've never seen before than watch it over and over again. Okay, moving on to this product here. It's the stove fan. Coming into winter, more and more people are using these log burners, these coal burners. The viewership on some of these is really good. Look, 870,000, 1.2 million, 900K, um, 76K, 1.6 million. Basically the way it works is, hopefully this person will give us a good one, is you basically put it on the back of your stove, a wood, um, a wood burning stove fan. Let me see if this shows, this will show it. So you put it on the back, <clears throat> the heat, the hot air comes up through it. It heats this metal pad at the bottom and the difference in temperature forces the fan to spin. So you don't need any batteries. And what it does is it projects the hot air through the room, essentially getting more warmth into your room, into the house, um, with the fan versus just rising and going up the chimney or up into the ceiling where it is. So it basically just means people can make more out of their stoves, their um, coal powered stoves or log burners, whatever you want to call them. And just to prove it too, log burners, obviously more popular during the winter when it's cold, especially with energy prices too, they're going up now. So whether more people will switch to using these, I'm not 100% sure, just follow the Google Trends. We can see now it's super, super popular and in demand. It makes a really nice gift idea too. So £6.84 cost, you can sell this for £30. It's in that impulse kind of buy or gift range. For your parent, for your grandparent that has a log burner, you're not quite sure what to get them. I think this is a nice little gift. So top, top product for this Q4. And before you go, I want you to check out my school community called Real Dropshipping. I created this community because when I started dropshipping, I didn't have access to hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to pay for mentorships. So I created this community. So for a fraction of the price, just $49 per month, plus you get a free seven day trial. So it's completely zero risk for you. Inside that are those one-to-one -one mentorship elements that you get for $49 at the end of your seven day free trial. Those elements include unlimited store reviews and unlimited ad reviews. So if your business is stuck, and you're not sure what to do next, join the community, won't cost you a single penny, submit your store of review, submit your ads for review, get the feedback on video from myself. And after some days, if you think it's still not worth it, you can cancel at no cost. So you get something for free for everyone. Check it out. Thanks.